Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel. I will continue our topic, loss of images. Now, in this video, I want to solve an example, a why question, using the various loss of indices that we have discussed in the previous video. Now, take a look at this question. 27 raised to the power x multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 minus x divided by 9 raised to the power 2x equals to 1. How will you go about this? Now, you take this 27 raised to the power x, it becomes 3 raised to the power 3 in bracket x. 3 raised to the power 3 is 27. Our x is stand. We have it here. Then multiply by 3 raised to the power 1 minus x. All over our 9 can also be written as 3 square. Then the 2x here still remain 2x. Then our 1 can be changed to 3 raised to the power 0 because 0 law says that any number raised to the power 0 is 1. Now I've made all my number to be a base 3. Base 3, base 3, base 3, base 3. So I will do it. I will continue. Now remember that power law says you can multiply these two power together. So we have 3 raised to power 3x multiplied by 3 raised to power 1 minus x system divided by 2 times 2x. We give me 3 raised to power 4x. Still power law. We can multiply these two power. Then equals to 3 raised to power is 0. Then multiplication law states that when we have the two bases are the same, add the power. Then we can bring these two together. You have 3. It becomes 3x plus in bracket 1 minus x divided by 3 raised to the power 4x equals to 3 raised to the power is 0. Then open this bracket here. You are going to have 3 raised to the power 3x plus 1 minus x. 3x plus 1 minus x divided by our 3 raised to the power 4x equals to 3 raised to the power is 0. Then do simple subtraction 3x minus x will give me 2x my plus 1 still remains so it becomes 3 raised to the power 2x plus 1 divided by 3 raised to the power 4x equals to 3 raised to the power is 0 remember our division law says when we have two bases that, that are the same we can subtract the power so it becomes 3 i take one of the base 2x plus 1, then minus the power of this one, minus 4x, gives me 3 raised to the power is 0. Then I can do my simple subtraction, 2x minus 4x, will give me minus 2x, so it's a, it becomes minus 2x plus 1, equals to 3 raised to the power is 0. Now, since my basis are the same, and then equals to is in between, I can cancel the base 3. So I'm left with minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Then collect like times, collecting like times. Then my, my 2 by minus 2x will stay. My number will move to this side. So because minus 2x equals to if a minus cross the equality sign, if a plus cross the equality sign, it becomes minus. It becomes minus 1. Then minus can cancel minus. So we have 2x equals to 1. Then to get my x, I divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2. You have 2 cancel 2. Then your x is 1 over 2. So it's as easy as that. Very simple. But now, how can you confirm that your answer is actually correct? That is very simple. We will just input this final value into your equation. Into your equation here. And check whether it will give you one so let's quickly do the checking let's quickly do the checking let's check so we have 27 since our x is 1 over 2 because there is 7 1 over 2 then multiply by 3 1 minus 1 over 2 divided by then my 9 2 bracket 1 over 2 so 27 27 1 over 2 i can write 27 as 3 over 3 to the power 3, then in bracket, my 1 over 2, then times 1 minus half will give me half. That the 1 minus 1 over 2 will give me 1 over 2. So I have 3 
1 over 2 divided by now I'm having 9, nine squared times half the power law multiply this 2 power 2 times half will give me 1 that is 2 here cancel 2 so I'm having 9 raised to power 1 which is same as 9 so this becomes 3 3 times half will give me 3 over 2 multiply by 3 1 over 2 divided by 9, 9 is power 1 is 9. So I can change it to 3 is power square because 3 is power 2 is also 9. Using your multiplication law, then you have 3 raised to power 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 divided by 3 raised to power square. 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 will actually give me 2. 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2. If I do this way, 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Like time is 2. 2 goes into 1. 1 times 3, 3. Plus 2 goes into 1. 1 times 1, 1. It becomes 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is 2. So it becomes 3 over 2 over 3 raised to power 2. Use your division law that says when the base are the same, subtract the power. 3 raised to power 2 minus 2, which is 0 power is 0. The entry of power 0 is the same as 1. So this means that this 1 that we get here is the same as the 1 that is equals, equals to. That means that our answer is very correct. So my viewers, I want to give you a question to solve and then put the answer in the comment section. Now, if y equals to 2n, then find 2 raised to power 2 plus n over 3. If y equals to 2n, 2n, then find 2 raised to power 2 plus n over 3. So you can leave your answer in the comment section. I hope you get this. Please continue with watching my channel for more videos on mathematics. Thank you.